Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. This is where we talk facts over feelings. Appreciate you coming back to check us out. We are now in a partnership with BetUS. So the link is in the description for BetUS. You can get a bonus, all that good stuff. They have all kinds of stuff for gambling people. If, if you like to gamble, click the link, become a member, or subscribe to BetUS. They are a partner with us. So, you know, please do uh, head on over there to BetUS. We would appreciate that. Let's talk about what's going on now in college women's basketball. But again, thank you so much for your continued support, support of this channel. I greatly appreciate you. Share, like, subscribe, and follow. Become a member. We are doing the membership live every single Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Women's college basketball. This is a crazy time of year because we're three weeks into this season, and lo and behold, ESPN has shown their hand. They have shown us what they care about. They showed us last year what they cared about, and now they've shown us again what they care about. Forget about ESPN. You can go, go across the board, <clears throat> all the networks, all the television networks. And I bring this up because last year, if Iowa played, they were on TV. They were must-see TV, can't-miss TV. You weren't going to miss it. You weren't going to miss it in person. You weren't going to miss it on television. And Caitlin Clark carried that over to the Indiana Fever and the WNBA. You weren't going to miss it. But now we are here on a new, in a new season in which we're having upsets. There's a lot of parity in college, college women's basketball this year. A lot more parity. UCLA just finished dusting up South Carolina. USC got dusted up by Notre Dame. The only top five team to start the season top five, I believe, that's still undefeated is UConn, but it's largely because they haven't played anybody yet. You know, they do have one win over a team with a pulse. Uh, who is that again? Who did they beat? They beat their one good win was a win over. That's the wrong one. Over North Carolina. That was their one good win. They won by 11 on the road at North Carolina. <clears throat> but that wasn't at North Carolina. That was actually in Greensboro. So it wasn't really a home game per se, but it was, it was a home game, but it wasn't a home game type of thing. Big difference when you play in your home building than when you play in a, a city that's not actually not actually your city. Nonetheless, that's their good win. The rest of their games, they played Boston U, South Florida, Fairleigh Dickinson, Oregon State. Tonight, tonight, they will play against Ole Miss, who's ranked number 18, who gave SC all kinds of problems. They'll play this in the championship game of the Baja, Baja Mar uh, Championship in the Bahamas. And if you hadn't noticed by now, they played their games already. The game they played there already um, was empty. They played in front of an empty building. And, and I'm not sitting here saying that Caitlin Clark would have drawn 15,000 people to that building because it probably only seats about four or 5,000, if that. But it would have seen, they would have had four or 5,000 Bahamians watching them play. Trust me. People, been, people didn't have to fly over. You would have had people from the Bahamas in that building watching Caitlin Clark play because she's box office. All that said, <laughs> the purpose of this video is honestly to bring the bring to light the reality of what's happening within college women's basketball. They keep trying to promote this and tell you that it's amazing, that it's gonna, it's, it's 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 the most popular thing on earth. It's it's gonna, it's it's completely inorganic what's going on. What's happening is inorganic. Pushing Paige, pushing Juju, pushing whoever. You're pushing, pushing, pushing. You're pushing a bunch of people who are not in the mainstream. They're not organically, they have not organically been developed. Their own city doesn't care about them. No one in Los Angeles gives two shits about Juju Watkins right now. That's reality. She can't sell it a 10,000 seat arena. It's pathetic. Not even against uh, Notre Dame could she sell a 10,000 seat arena. It's kind of embarrassing if you ask me. And it also shows that Notre Dame doesn't have much drawing power either. <clears throat> that they can travel and have a top five, top six team in the country and still not draw people then draw people into that building. And when you combine them both and together they can't draw 10,000 people, it speaks volumes. It speaks volumes. But you know what speaks bigger even more for all of that? What speaks even more to this is the fact that today, November 27th, you have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20. You have about 50 women's basketball games. About 50. You want to know how many are on television? And when I use the word television, I mean television. They're not behind a paywall. They're not on an app. They are free television. What I mean by free is I mean you got YouTube TV, you got cable, you got Hulu, <coughs> Sling, whatever the hell you got, you have free television. Not some random streaming service. Free television. ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, the ACC Network, the SCC Network, the Ocho, I'm kidding around, obviously, the Big Ten Network. Networks that you get with your regular cable subscription, not ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus is a paid for separate thing from ESPN. It's paid for. It's behind a paywall. So let me tell you about tomorrow's games. You have some monster games tomorrow in the, in the world of women's college basketball. You have at 1.30 p.m. in the Baja Mar Flamingo Championship. Why do they not have LSU and UConn in the same tournament? They're playing in the same fucking building, but they're playing in two separate tournaments. So we don't get the opportunity to see Flage Johnson go up against Paige Beckers. They steal that opportunity from us. Instead, you got two, two teams in the top 10 that are not playing in the same damn tournament. They're playing the same building, but not in the same tournament. <clears throat> so, excuse me, I'm still getting over this damn keg cold. I apologize. LSU ranked number seven is playing NC State number 20 at 130. The game is not on television. The game is not on television. It is on something called Flow Hoops. What the hell is Flow Hoops? I had to check what Flow Hoops is. Flow Hoops is basically a paid streaming service. It's a paid streaming service. This is not real TV. This is not real TV. Sign up. I'm a, I don't know if I want to sign up. Let me see here. <clears throat> I have not signed up for this, so I want to see. It's Flow Hoops. I'm presuming this is a paywall. I'm not. Oh, my God. Yeah, here we go. $12.50 a month or $29.99 a month. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Sorry, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. LSU NC State is behind a fucking paywall. Who's going to pay to watch that? Like, unless you're a relative of someone from LSU or NC State, and they have it automatically an annual, so it's not a monthly. It's not one where I can sign up for $15 for one month and then cancel. No, no, no. They got you for a year. They're billing you up front. This is tomorrow's schedule. LSU, NC State, 130. It's not on TV. Kansas State, number nine versus DePaul, not on TV. Duke versus Oklahoma, number eight versus number 13, not on TV. What the hell is Duke and Oklahoma? What, how, how can I watch Duke and Oklahoma? Duke, Oklahoma, TV. Flow hoops. Here we go again. It looks like there's someone who has cornered the women's basketball market <clears throat> and um, is, is figuring out a way to maximize on women's basketball, but no one's going to pay for it, you fucking idiots. Flow hoops. USD plays Seton Hall at 7 p.m. That is the only game that's on actual cable television. Of the 50-some-odd games they have going on tomorrow, one, USC versus Seton Hall and True TV. UConn plays Ole Miss, number two versus number 18 at 730. It's not on TV. It's on Flow Hoops. Kentucky, number 14 against Illinois, number 19. Not on TV. Now, there are a bunch of games that are on ESPN Plus 
But like I said, those are behind a paywall. You cannot watch any of these games on ESPN. You can't even watch these games on ESPN 3 or 360 or whatever the hell they used to call it. This is all for pay. Now, let's take a look at the men's schedule tomorrow. Back, let me know what before we get there. Are there any games on Thanksgiving? Yes, there are. There are a bunch of games on Thanksgiving. And one of those games is Iowa State versus South Carolina. It's at 1.30. It is on Fox. It is the only game of the 30 or 40 games that are on TV oh, that, are, that are being played on Thanksgiving that will be on TV. The rest there's, there's five that are on ESPN Plus. Nothing else is on television. Iowa plays it at, at 6:30. Iowa's ranked 22nd. It's not on TV. Let's go to Friday. Friday, we got another. God, there's like 70 games. Of the 70 games, there is one, there is one game, two games on television. Marquette at Rutgers at 2 p.m. is on the Big Ten Network. Remember, Friday there'll be college football going on too. And then at 7 p.m., USC plays against St. Louis. It's on True TV. I guess USC has a deal now with TNT. TBS, True TV. I don't know what's going on, but they may have a deal going on there. You got Texas playing, Iowa playing, not each other, not on TV. You got TCU playing Notre Dame. That's a big time game right there. Three versus 17. That's a huge game. Massive. Not on television. Hell, it's not even on ESPN Plus. It's probably on that flow hoops garbage. No offense, Flow Hoops. I'm not disrespecting you, but you're not television. You're stream. You're a streaming service. I'm not paying for a streaming service to watch women's basketball. But yeah, you have some that are on the ACC. <clears throat> what is that? That is the ACC. That's not the ACC network. The ACC network is a television channel. This is the online version of the ACC network. So this is like ESPN Plus. So again. You have all these games, and this is on Friday. Now let's go look at the men's side. Remember, they kept telling you, they keep telling you that women's basketball is bigger than men's basketball. Well, at 12 noon, Louisville plays Indiana, ranked 14th, ESPN. At 2.30, West Virginia plays at number three, Gonzaga, ESPN. <clears throat> at 4, Oregon plays San Diego State on TNT. Max, I don't know what that is. That might be a, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's an internet version for TNT. I'm not sure. It's on Max. Uh, it's on TNT and Max, actually. Max is like the, the streaming service, but TNT, it's on TNT. At 4.30, Mar Maryland's playing Bucknell at, on the Big Ten Network. Six o'clock, South Carolina versus Virginia Tech, FS1. At 5 p.m., Memphis versus To Be Determined, ESPN. At 5 o'clock, Oklahoma at Providence, ESPN2. At 6.30, Nebraska, South Dakota on Big Ten Network. Villanova versus Ryder at 7, FS2. Arizona versus Davidson, ESPN2 at 7.30. Xavier versus Michigan, 8.30, FS1. Marquette versus Stonehill. The hell is Stonehill? I mean, I know it's a school. But come on. FS2, Michigan State versus To Be Determined, ESPN2, Alabama against Rutgers, TBS, UConn versus Dayton, ESPN2. This is tomorrow. <clears throat> How many games is that? 20? 20 or so? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 13 games on television. And there's a handful of others that are on ESPN Plus, SEC Plus, every plus. And you're telling me that women's basketball is bigger than men's basketball? No, what you've seen is that these the network knows the ratings. They're not telling us the ratings. They're not publicizing these ratings. Because the ratings are absolutely fucking terrible. There's a reason you don't know them. They're not pushing them. 
And because they're not pushing them, you're seeing games are not on television. Let's move into Thursday. Notre Dame at Houston, TBS. And here's a game, TBD versus TBD on ESPN. Minnesota at Wichita State, ESPN2. Florida at Wake Forest, ESPN. A TBD, TBD at ESPN2. Purdue at NC State, FS1. Arkansas, Illinois, CBS. TCU, Santa Clara, True TV. TBD, TBD, ESPN. BYU, Ole Miss, FS1. Utah State, St. Bonaventure, ESPN2. I'm out of breath, man. Washington, Colorado State, True TV. TBD, TBD, ESPN2. Kennesaw State, UC Irvine, that's ESPN+. Plus. Uh, a Northern Iowa, North Texas, ESPNU. USC, St. Mary's, True TV. New Mexico versus Arizona State, True TV. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 games on national television on Thanksgiving for men. 16. Let's look at Friday. There's like another 50, a lot of TVDs on here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven games on national TV. Again, remember. Friday, there will be a lot of college football games. <clears throat> so they're managing these games around the college football schedule. They're not putting women's basketball on TV, folks. They're not doing it. This is Caitlin Clark. She ain't there anymore. She's not there to carry an entire sport. And what ESPN is showing you and these networks are showing you is no one's watching this stuff now. And they know it. It's not a secret. They know no one's watching it. So why am I going to put it on television? I'll put it on ESPN Plus behind a paywall. If people want to watch it, they'll watch it. If they don't, they don't. It's no skin off our back. It costs us nothing to put it on ESPN Plus. They might have people there broadcasting the game. Who knows? They might be broadcasting from their houses. You have no idea anymore. And at the same time, Flow Hoops, whoever they have broadcasting for Flow Hoops, whatever it is, maybe there's a partnership that ESPN has with Flow Hoops. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you this. The only thing that people care about was watching Caitlin Clark play. And no one cares about watching shit on Flow Hoops. I don't even know. I, I'm trying to figure out where it come, where this even came from. It says watch basketball live and on demand. I mean, that's cute and all. But when every single game is a woman's game, or almost all the games are for women, and there's no men's games on here, I mean, come on, man. Come on now. <clears throat> this is this just shows you what the reality is. This shows you the reality. Basketball after Caitlin Clark is what basketball was. Sorry. Women's basketball after Caitlin Clark in college is what women's basketball was before Caitlin Clark in college. It'll pick up in, in March Madness and they'll get their five to seven million to watch the final four and, the, and their 10 to 12 to watch the championship. But it'll never be like it was the last two years. It will never be that. And the expectation of Paige Beckers and Juju Watkins and Hannah Hidalgo and whoever else people have you know, put on that pedestal to be the people that carry the torch. It's not there, man. I'm telling you, it's not there. I do have more interest in watching women's basketball than I did in the past. I still, I used to watch it. I, I always watched it once in a while. And this game I would love to watch, but I'm not going to pay for a paywall to watch a game on a paywall. I'm not doing it. I'm just not going to do it. I have enough paid for apps and streaming services. I mean, let's go on the list. Let's think about this for a second. I got cable. I got YouTube TV. <clears throat> I got Netflix, for which I was, I'm still buffering for the Mike Tyson fight. I got Prime TV. I got Peacock. I got Max. 
I got ESPN Plus. That's that's seven right there. I got Paramount. That's eight. Do I have any others? I got at least eight streaming services. Apple TV, nine. I got nine streaming services, man. Like, here you know when you thought you cut the cord from cable? They cut shit. Because all they do is create a new streaming service every day. They put more shows on that you want to watch. <clears throat> so you subscribe, and then you never unsubscribe to this shit. Because they'll put one good show that you like on, and you'll never unsubscribe because they have that one show. Nine streaming services. I probably pay more for TV today than I paid five years ago or six years ago when I cut the cord when it came to cable. And I cut the cable cord because they didn't have the ACC network. But also when I cut it, YouTube TV was $45.99 and now YouTube TV is like $90 fucking dollars. Ridiculous. But yeah, I just wanted to point out the obvious, the what's what's actually happening that you're not noticing. These games are not on television anymore. And they're not because people aren't going to them for one, but definitely people aren't watching them. That's the Caitlin Clark effect. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, pound that like button, become a member. Go on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe over there. I'm still pumping out content there as well. Greatly appreciate y'all. And jump on over to BetUS. Try your luck. Are you a gambler? Go make yourself some money, man. Facts for feelings. Come on now.